So I just finished making this chicken feeder. It's an auto, auto chicken feeder. Um, and I realized I probably should have shown some of the build. But it was kind of an afterthought. I thought I'd share anyway. Um, but yeah, this thing uh, can hold probably like a 50 pound sack of grain and it feeds it down automatically as the hens feed off the, through that little hole there. Um, and it just saves you a lot of time. And it keeps it clean because it's off the ground at about chest height for the hens, which is good. It's got a little roof on there. Um, and I just uh, put a couple of runners on the side to locate the lid. But the premise is you put a baffle, an angled piece of wood down there, just above the opening you cut. And then uh, you leave a little gap underneath it so that the food can kind of, as you pour it in, some of it will fall under here, but it won't overflow. There's a little lip there too. Um, so yeah, it just makes life easy. Uh, as far as dimensions go, to give you guys a little bit of an idea here, um, the, the width here is about 10 inches, or no, 14 inches, and then it's about 24 inches for the panels, plus 6 to 8 inches, I think those are about 6 inches uh, for the feet there. Um, front to back, we're talking about 10 inches wide, um, so that'll give you a, a basic idea. And you can see kind of how I joined it, front panels overlapping the sides. Um, and the front panels go along the sides of the base, but the actual sides rest on top of that base. doesn't really matter. Either way, you can do it. And then I just uh, glued everything up and popped a few nails through. It's all scrap material that I had lying around, so you don't necessarily have to use the 4x4s and this stuff. But this uh, OSB ply is really cheap, and you can just paint it up. Uh, real thick and it, it goes well. So hopefully that's helpful to some of you. I might uh, take a video after the food's in there uh, just to show you that too. So I just put a little bit of food in there just enough to cover the baffle just to kind of test it out. Um, sorry it's nighttime, so I had to use a light here. But you can see the baffle's working good. It just lets it come out at a little angle and then when the chickens peck at it it'll pull a little more out towards the front there but you can see it's plenty enough space for them to get at it and it keeps it from falling out and then fell out when I was pouring it in. So there you go, automatic chicken feeder and you can easily fit about 50 pounds of grain in that thing. So I'm going to include this little file here for the chicken feeder to help you guys in building it. If you've ever used Google, Google SketchUp, that's what this is. If you haven't, no worries, I'm going to show you a little bit about how to use this. Uh, but basically it's got all the dimensions on it. Probably hard to see, but I also put up here a pieces to cut panel, um, or set of uh, you know what's what pieces to cut, and then some basic assembly instructions. Now keep in mind um, these are based off the measurements of the panels being um, you know ha half inch thick panels. So if your panels aren't quite a half inch thick, then of course these measurements might change the teeniest bit. And with that, you know, it's supposed to be anything that looks like a 0.5 or looks like it's going to fit inside of, you know, something there. You're going to have to base that off of the thickness of your material. So keep that in mind. Um, but the basics here are that you're just going to, uh, when I say butt up the bottom panel to the back, I'm talking about this bottom panel you see through here, just setting it against the back. You can see right there, it hits against the back. And each of these instructions assumes that after you do that, you're going to glue and screw a nail. I used an, uh, an air nailer. Um, so I just butt it up there with some glue and then pop it in. And then the next thing I do is set the sides up. So these side pieces I set down on top of the base panel and push up against the back. And then glue on all the edges, you know, pop nails in. Uh, I do that for both sides. And then it says to go ahead and set the front strip on top of the um, sides and bottom panel. That's this one right here, so you can see it's resting on top of the uh, the base panel and on the edges here. So you set that in place, glue it, and, and nail it. The next thing says to put the legs in place. You want to go ahead and do this now because after you put the baffle in right here, it's going to be hard. So you just line them up with some glue and put some screws through or nails, the air nailer. Um, and then it says align the front main panel with the top and mark the bottom edge. That's this big piece. So you just kind of push it up and align it with the top and then make some pencil marks right there and there. And then take that piece off again. Uh, after that point you're going to go ahead um, 
and let's see here, where did I go? Yeah, put the baffle, number, uh, let's see there, number six, put the baffle in. That's this piece right here. So you put it in at the 45 degree angle, and then uh, kind of line it up in there. You want to line the top front corners that are, you can't really see here with those marks you made for the panel. Um, and then go ahead and pop some air nails through the side after you've glued it in. Um, you might not even have to glue that one. I didn't because I didn't want glue smudges all along the inside. I just kind of put it in there roughly where I wanted and started popping some nails in. Um, after the baffle, then you can go ahead and align that main panel again, the front one with the top, and then start popping nails in. Uh, of course, gluing again. Uh, then it says to go ahead and move on to this top piece. Mark, measure and mark one and a half inches in front of all um, edges. And that's this one, so an inch and a half in on this side and that side. Um, and, and you're going to create a box, you know, kind of a uh, box line, so that's going to help you locate these strips. Because after you do that, it says align the top uh, centering strips. That's what these things are. And put those in place um, and go ahead and knock them in. Then uh, after that, the last thing you do is just paint the whole deal however you like. And then on the opposite side of this, if you were to flip it over, that would be the true top and you could put the roofing material on it and you're done. So hopefully that helps you. If you'd like to get a feel for how this program works a little bit, these, this button right here allows you to do something called orbit. So if you want to turn the, the thing to kind of look inside, you know, or just get a feel for how it looks uh, from different angles for assembly, you can do that. And then this button up here with the hand, uh, if you can't quite orbit where you want to, you can go ahead and move the whole thing side to side and then orbit again. So hopefully that will help you guys in constructing this little uh, chicken fear. Oh, and I almost forgot to say, for those of you who don't know what Google SketchUp is, it's a free program and it's uh, like SketchUp with an S at the front, SketchUp. And uh, you can download it for free, of course, and then um, I'll put this file in the description if I can. Um, and then uh, that way you guys can download it and check it out.